Welcome to 7 Days to Die Alpha 20 Experimental Branch. I'm very excited to be playing Alpha 20. I have seen the patch notes. They are huge. Now, there is some really main components in the game that they've changed, like the way the loot works, the way random world generation works, all that stuff. We're going to look at this in more detail in separate videos. But right now, I'm going to leave a link in the description or in a pinned comment down below for you guys to enjoy the patch notes. And we're going to start having a look at Alpha 20 Experimental Branch. We're going to start a new game which hopefully will last throughout the whole experimental period and then we're going to restart again when the full game comes out. I'm going to create a new random world which I'm really excited about because of all the changes they made to the random world generation. Towns are actually now proper towns. Each town has in the beginning of a town a trader that gives you quests and missions for that town that they're part of. I can't wait for this. This is going to make questing and the whole flow and process so much more enjoyable. I can't wait. So we're going to start a new random world. The seat is going to be just A20 EXP for Alpha 20 Experimental. On the general tab, where we have the difficulty setting, we're changing the default adventurer difficulty to Nomad. It's not, the, it's not really that challenging, yeah? But we're not here to have a challenge. We're going to play Insane Nightmare on another day when we're into stable. But right now, we just want to get through the content to see as much of the new things as possible before we go into stable. On the basics tab, we are going to change the zombie day speed to run, but we're also going to be messing around with the new zombie feral sense options. The zombie feral sense option more than doubles, according to the patch notes, more than doubles the range in which the zombie hears you from and notices you from. So you will have a lot more zombies getting attracted to your location, meaning it gets a lot tenser when you loot a house and there's zombies across the street that will just start coming for you. Now we're going to be able to turn this to day, night or all. So you have very good options here. So I leave it for day in the moment at night time. I'm not sure if I want them to come from miles away right now to just try to chop my head off. Now, because we are trying to play through experimental at a good pace, we're not going to rush things, but we I want to get through it through a good pace to see all the new toys and all the new things. We're going to literally max out experience. End of story. Once we go into stable, we can take our time. But we all know experimental moves very quickly with a lot of patches that may or may not break the game. So I will be probably staying on B213 unless there is a major critical fix that comes out. On the advanced tab, we're going to double the Blood Moon count on zombies. Why not? We think we know how to build a base, but hey, I don't know what they changed in zombie behavior. So for all I know, we're going to get absolutely destroyed, which is going to be fine. Mark airdrops is also going to be on. I always have that on. I prefer it that way. And that's pretty much it. So let's generate the world and let's get right into it. <sighs> Ah, the smell of a fresh new start. It always is very amazing. Look at those textures. I love it. They're completely overhauled. The textures, everything looks a little tad more realistic. Well, compared to how I played it before, I don't have it on the ultra, ultra high settings um, because that kind of impacts my FPS a little bit. So the way I play is the same settings as before in Alpha 19. And to me, it looks a lot better than in Alpha 19. Look at the grass. Oh, like it. I like it. Even these uh, twigs, like the wooden twigs, they look much better than they did in Alpha 19. Maybe I'm just imagining it, but I think they look a lot more crisp and kind of that realistic kind of texture on it. Look at this big city right here. Now, we're going to quickly have a look. So excuse me for doing that. We're going to have to have a look. Look at this new world generation. How amazing is that? That is so beautiful. And look at the long distance rendering. Now, this is amazing how far you can see. And look at this. We can see every single building. I don't think there's a single building that is not displayed and then just pops in. And I don't know exactly how they do it on single player, but in general, multiplayer, as well as single player, I think, they've implemented something now called a dynamic imposter system, So, which basically takes all the changes to a building in real time and then is able to display that to you and every other player. So if somebody builds this amazing, massive base very high up on the top of a hill you will see it now you will see it from here that there is a base on the top of the hill that is amazing now of course depending on your pc strengths it has certain server config settings you're going to be able to set on your servers then you need to limit that because obviously it requires some processor power but i think that is amazing so we no longer have these things where we're going to get closer to something and all of a sudden pop there's a building now let's get started. Let's have a look at some of the early stuff we're going to be aiming for. We are going to obviously start looking at the shape blocks. The shape blocks are the new crafting blocks. They're absolutely fantastic. Now you have basic frame shapes, which are basically plywood. They look like plywood. 
And then you have the wood shapes, which are your wood, the cobblestone, the concrete, and the steel. And this is the only four uh, or five upgrade steps that you will have. There's no more uh, concrete, reinforced concrete, all that nonsense. It's now very clear, frame, wood, cobblestone, concrete, steel. And of course, weapons. What we want to start getting straight into is the pipe weapons. We have a pipe baton, a pipe machine gun, a pipe machine gun, a pipe pistol, a pipe rifle, a pipe shotgun. I love this. We're gonna be coming across new things as we play drones all that stuff absolutely fantastic i already play, played around a little bit with the drone as well which i absolutely love let's have a oh, look at this also the loot system is completely changed now the loot system is a lot more dynamic and is no longer tied to your game stages so loot stage is now separate from game stage but follows the same logic where you kind of increase it similar to the game stage just in its own separate path but not only that your loot is also influenced by what you loot and where you loot. So say, for example, you go to a very simple POI in the, in the pine forest, you're gonna get a certain level of loot, say like a low level loot, like your entry level loot. But if you go straight away in the beginning of the game into the wasteland, into one of the most hardcore POIs and you loot there, your loot will be much higher, more risk, more reward. Now the order of difficulty, the way they have explained it here on the patch notes is that when it comes to buying bonuses to the loot, the progression is as follows. Pine forest, the lowest bonus, desert, the next highest snow biome after that, and then the wasteland. Now the burnt biome has been removed as far as I know from random gen, but it still exists in Naviscane, but it's treated on the same stage at the same level as the desert. And there's Trader Wrecked already. I think that's a new Trader POI. I actually have no idea. I don't think I've seen that before. I love the smoke. Everything is amazing. I'm so excited. Every time I start a fresh game, I'm excited enough already. And being a new alpha, I just like, I love it. So anyway, let's go and start with the basics. We have a bread roll and it has a shape. Let me see. What is this? Oh, look at this. We can make it yellow. We can make it green. We can make it gray. I love this. There we go. Let's make it blue. Look at this. I love this texture. This is so nice. Anyway, let's go and gather some small stones, which now with a new starter system or whatever they call it, I don't know, a helper system. Look at this. You see that? Oh, where's the stone? I can't find a stone. I'm looking for three hours stone. I probably walked past 40 stone in the process. I hate this so much. You don't have to do this anymore. You just look around and say, hey, what is this? Ooh, this is belonging to a quest. Oh, I will pick it up. Let's just walk around until we see another one of those. Oh, 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 look at this. There's multiple here. I would have walked past them. So let's craft the stone axe. So we can use uh, this for getting more plant fiber, plant fiber. And let's craft some plant fiber clothes. Um, we want to make sure we also get the gloves and then we're gonna collect some more to also make the pants and the shoes or the boots. Okay, let's put our new clothes on. There we go and get to the next one where we craft a wooden club and then we have to gather some wood. So let's go chop down trees, our primitive bow and our first set of arrows. Nice. Now let's craft a frame shape. So this will be literally, I hope the texture is gonna slightly change. It looks a bit creative mode. So I hope that they're gonna make it look like, I don't know, the actual default look it is. And that is kind of the plywood color. So when we place it down, it looks like plywood by default. So I really hope that they're gonna change the block to be that color. Let's do the campfire and we're done. And now we look at the trader, which is, oh, happens to be nearby. I love this start, it's amazing. It's a very easy start, of course, but for new players, I can see this being a really nice, friendly way of introducing you to the game right now. Now, when it comes to perks, we still get the four points, but I don't think anything has changed. If something has moved, to a different area i'm not sure i i can't tell so for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into daring adventurer to get that extra reward slot unlocked we're gonna go to better barter and we're going into perception to get lucky looters straight away enabled as well and then we're gonna put a point into sexy saurus because you know stamina i don't think i've seen this trader before Seed and supply. Yeah, this definitely is new. I like the way this boss is sitting there. Oh, we can loot the boss. That's nice. We might actually get lucky. We have lucky looter. Oh, look at that. And we got some glue. That is amazing. Sweet as. There we go. Because that means if we get some uh, rooks, we can already start looking into pipe weapons. Look at that. It takes glue. It takes leather. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're going to be starting looking at all the pipe weapons. Oh, there's a forge. Is it working? No, it's a destroyed forge. 
Oh, look at that. We already get some iron arrows and coal. That's very handy. If we need to make wheels, coal is always nice. And then here we already have some dirt. Very handy. Indeed. What do we have in the garage? Ah, not a working one. Got a chemistry station. Now, of course, all these stations still can actually contain the actual recipe. Oh, we got a wheel already. Bicycle, cycle bike. Here we come. And a pile of books. I love this. This is so nicely set up, this trader. Look at this. Shelves. Oh, I love that you can actually you now loot things in the trader. I don't know if that was a thing before. I know we had lootable shelves before. If you break it, you buy it. But I don't think we were able to loot it like that in a trader before. Well, we could always loot some things in the trader, of course. Okay, what do we have here? We still have all this. Anything changed here? Rock posters, eye candy, loot bonus. Oh, yes. I will be buying that as soon as I have some money. What do we have here? Sorry, let me take that money from you. Let me see if you have anything else to loot. Oh, I'm going to steal everything from the back of the shelf and then sell it to him. Oh, no, not talking to you yet. I love his texture. Nice. Look at his face. I love it. It's a bit dark. I think it's just the lightning here. Uh, may I see your inventory? Do you have any jobs? Look at this. Every single job is now in the radius of the town the trader is attached to. I absolutely love this. So, but let's get the closest one, which is a fetch. No more well, buried supplies. Good luck. Which makes me worried, actually, about food. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. We get the wheat nipples as well. That is great. Love it. Now, our first quest is down here. We have a little bit of room left, but I think we should find somewhere where we can dump everything very quickly. Oh, here we go. We have our first zombie. Hello there, my friend. Oh, yes, I forgot I set them to run. Boom, look at that beauty. Oh, yes, and I'll give him straight one over the noggin and we got his bag already. Oh, love it that. Loving that. Okay, we're gonna sell this. Oh, hello there. Ooh, he's a very excited fella. You gotta get back up. Yes, he is. Oh, I love it. I love that little black cloud that they have on impact. Well, it's kind of dark red. It's really nice. So it looks like this whole area here is just being built up. It was like a new residence. It looks nice because you have the finished house here. Oh, hello. Bam! Bazinga! Right in the foreface. Okay, no touchies. And here we go. Beautiful. So we have a finished house, and then we have several houses which are in mid- Oh, crap. Oh, oh no, oh no! There's several birds! No! These guys are winged dogs. Oh, oh my balls. Look at that. We are infected. How is there so many of them already? That is, ooh. Okay, where is it? It's gotta come back. Oh, there we go. That's the last one. Oh, my balls. We already have abrasions and infectations and everything. This is so sad. Yeah, we're gonna fix ourselves up good. Now, at least we're gonna get some feathers and some dirty meat and some bones. So we're doing well out of it. So this area here with all the new buildings, Loads of these uh, flying dogs around. I'm assuming the feral sense is what made those birds attack me from all the way in the distance. I never thought about the birds. Oh, look at this. Wow, zombies I can deal with. This looks so amazing. I love the textures. The way they, did, uh, they updated them is just beautiful. Then here we have a couple of farms. We have a smallish farm here with a nice little house. And then here we have a bigger farm with the barn and everything. I love it. It seems like everything is a little bit more organized. Oh, you're, you're the new nurse. Oh, crap. You actually hit like a truck. Holy crap. I know nurses are supposed to do the touches to look after you, but not like that. Look at the new nurse texture. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Here we get into the industrial area. That looks really nice. The transition from the farm areas into the industrial area. We have even the water here. These, whatever that is, the drainage with the pipes. Right behind the construction area of the new residencies. And then we get into the big factories and everything. This is amazing. Now, we're going to have to find a little place to dump everything. I think this little shed will do fine. Oh, look at that. Does this crawler have a new texture as well? We're gonna have to make a sledgehammer, guys. You know it. It's the weapon of choice until we can make all the pipe weapons. 
Yeah, looking very nice. Oh, a little rabbit is stuck in a corner. Oh, what a pity. Oh, my frames are going really low all of a sudden. It's probably that it's rendering everything in right around me, or maybe there's a lot of zombies waking up. I never thought about that. So with the feral sense on, if there's a lot of zombies starting to aggravate on me, that might actually impact my frame rate, but I'm not sure why here, right here, my frame rate goes really down into the toilet. Yeah, you actually can see things loading in in the distance. You can see them flicker. So I'm assuming that's what it is. It's loading in all the different segments uh, as you get closer to them. Yeah, there again, you could see a little pop there. Oh, here's the new copper. Look at that with the spitballs. I love it. Look at the jiggy jiggy copy right in the belly. Ooh, nope, no hitting me. Thank you. I want to see his texture a little bit closer. Oh! Ooh, we got a feral mama! No, 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 no. No, 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 no feral mama for me! Ooh, this is not good. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, no, we're running low. Is she still after us? She is after us still. But she's stuck on a tree. Yeah, you, you show that tree. She's still after me. She's not giving up. Okay, run while she's down. Wow, okay, that was a close one. Genie, Mac, daytime ferals. Day one. Woohoo! All right, let's make a couple of chests to dump our stuff in, and we're going to put it right here on the side of the road. We're just going to build something small here on the straight surface of the road. All right, let's see if we can still unlock bacon and eggs straight up front. Healing factory, we have two points to spend, so I think I would like to gain one health every 90 seconds. Definitely need that. And then we want to go and take Master Chef, which is still under strength for some reason. So I thought they were moving some of these things around, uh, but maybe they were talking about it, but aiming for some of that to be rearranged in Alpha 21. For some reason in my head, I remember some type of dev stream where they were talking about rearranging these. So let's do that. And that should hopefully give us some access to some of the basic foods, bacon and eggs. There we go. Oh, we need a cooking pot for that. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for that. In the meantime, let's cook some water and then we can make some eggs and a little bit of meat. So let's have a look. Let's make some charred meat and then make some boiled eggs as well. Oh, we need a cooking pot for that as well. Okay. Oh, look at that in the distance. I don't know if you can see it in the dark, but in the distance we have a wolf and a nurse zombie getting it on. Oh, they stopped fighting now, but we have a wolf nearby. That's not good. So maybe what we want to do is get into the shape menu and look at this. So we're going to look at this in more detail. Oh my God, there's a wolf. Okay, he just ran across the screen. I don't know, because it's so dark, you might not be able to see it properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some stairs here and <laughs> we're going to uh, make ourselves a very basic... Um, fortification so that they have to come from the front. I can see the wolf going in circles around here, so I really hope he's not coming for me, to be honest. Did that change the fire? It looks nice. I don't know if it looks different. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think texture has been updated in the flames as well. They look so much more intense. Okay, our meat is at least done, so let's drink that. Eh, drink that. Let's eat that. And let's have a little bit of a drink as well. And that food should help a little bit until we can go and buy something in the trader. I should have done the quest, but I was way too uh, excited about investigating the town a little bit. Which is actually nice that you can't, even without the feral sensor on, because like there's zombies like in every building. So you're actually just going to attract everything. So you have to kind of systematically go through the town as well, which is nice. So you can't just pick the highest loot building and go, I'm going to go straight for that. Well, you could. You can just ignore all the zombies. Run and lock yourself behind a door and then kill them slowly, but you know what I mean. Does the trick still work with the stones? Because we have a nurse here very close to us. See if we can lure them away. Nice. Okay, I think we have our very basic safe place here, which means we should be able to attract all the zombies around us, no problem, and just retract here. So basically, this is um, just using a little bit of a tunnel kind of thing on one block and the rest will be single block so we can just step back and fight them from here and that should be enough we're not gonna have a horde right now so a roaming horde so let's uh, take the hatch and place it right down here 
Yeah, this way around should be fine. Exactly. So that way they're standing in here and they can't jump on top of each other. Now, the zombie is supposed to be able to crawl through one spaces now. I don't know if that is actually a thing. I haven't seen that in the patch notes either. Again, I could have overlooked it because there's like a huge amount of things that they fixed and changed. So besides the main uh, categories, um, all the way on the bottom of the patch notes. And um, if this works, then it works. I'm not going to argue about it. So that's going to... Yeah, should have done that better. Probably should have had some support. <laughs> should should have probably put some support beams here on the left and right of it. And here we go, finally, it's stable. Well, at least I think it's stable. Let's put another block here and see if it collapses again. No, it doesn't. So the blocks have colors now as well. Obviously, it didn't happen with the torch, the colors, but you can see it's green here. Then if I go a little bit further out, it will turn pink. Um, okay, it doesn't because we don't have enough room, but there is already a visitor. Hello, my friend. Please come upstairs. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. I love it. Look at that. You're doing enough damage to that. But we can just one shot repair it. And she's not crawling through, which is great. Bam. There we go. Blamo. Right in the foreface. Hello there, my friend. You look very pretty today. Oh, she is a tough one. You owe me an arrow. Let's do the quest. Let's do the mission so we can get probably a cooking pot as well. That would be great so we can start actually making proper food because we are starving to death right now. All right, we have a problem. Oh, he's got a blow. Oh, look, they still have the old texture on the blown up cop. There you go. Another texture you guys have to replace. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, okay, two. I wanted to have only Whoa! You weren't invited to the party, dude! That is not fair! Actually, do you know what guys? Um I'm just gonna go ahead here and go inside. There you go. Goodbye. Okay, here we go. Hello! Oh, she's trying to crawl. Nice. I love it. She's turning into a spider zombie. Oh, they both are. Look at that. That's amazing. There we go. And that's it. Donezo. Yeah, so it's the big building in the first place. When you look at the big building, it is. That's it. It's completely crashing the FPS. I have no idea why that is. Oh, nice. We're getting some leather here as well now. So we can make actually our first pipe weapon very soon. I should have brought the glue with me. Oh, we found a cocking pot. There we go. Very nice. We can eat tonight. Oh, the supplies are right here. Very nice. Brilliant. I like that. So now we can actually continue searching this place and the grill without the pressure and the impending, impending doom of possibly losing... Ooh, okay. Anybody in here? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. oh, actually, I made a hammer. So let's try to use that. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, there's something behind here. Maybe we get some medicine. I don't know. Do we have some honey or some antibiotics? No, not yet. Very nice. Another grill. What do we have in here? Nice spots. Very good. We can actually start a farm and start planting the spots. Let's see what we have in the cart here. Very nice. Some stuff to sell. Is there anybody else in here? Oh, there's a bookshelf in the top. Oh, hello. Okay, so that's how we're going to get in. And that's the end of you. Thank you. Excellent. We have another chair here that's going to give us some more leather. Let's see what's in the cabinet. Be careful with the birds. Yeah, don't look at this building. Then everything goes down in frames. There we go. Nice. Oh, nice. We got a double whammy on that one. Come on, you can do it. Yes, okay. Stamina, 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 stamina. And whammy. Oh, damn it. They always seem to get a hit in. Oh, yeah, I love the look of these. So we're going to be definitely incorporated. So let's use this. 
make a little bit more room, bring everything else along with us, and let's loot. There oh, <laughs> we got another one. That is so sweet. What perfect timing. And let's have a look and see what's in our loot crate. More bandages, very nice, and some scrap like armor. I'm not going to put them on. That will just really slow us down, but I'm going to sell them to the trader. So let's have a look here and see what's in the shotgun messiah. I don't know what the difficulty is of this POI, so I don't know how much uh, loot bonus we get. Okay, we're going to sell that, yeah. What is this little building here? Oh, look at that. Nice. That was a food stunt. Oh, this is very good. We got some seeds here as well and some more rotten flesh. And what do we have in here? Nice loot. Okay, only a couple of drinks, but better than nothing. Got some food. And now that we have a cooking pot, we should be able to make um, our bacon and eggs. Oh, if we have any meat left, because I already used the meat, I'm not sure, yeah, we already used the meat. So what we're going to do instead is let's uh, make some boiled eggs. Yes, okay, here we go. Cooking pot, grill, fire, boiled eggs. Bam, okay, our eggs are done. I'm going to be eating them all. <laughs> they give us 10 food, that's actually not bad. So 40 food should get us well on the way again. And then we hopefully get some money to buy our shami food. Oh, look at the weather changing. Whoa, is it gonna start? It is starting to start raining. That is amazing. All right, we're going to spend the next point on advanced engineering. And then we're going to spend one point in crazy maybe, but I'm going to go with intellect. And for the reasons that I want to get a little bit more into robotics and now that we can make also a pipe button uh, or baton, there is actually a base weapon we can use. And the stun baton might actually work out nicer than um, our sledgehammer in that case. I mean, we should definitely try it. God. Okay, we're gonna get the weighted head mod for our hammer. Do you have any other jobs? Yes, you do, of course. Which is the closest? Here we go, I another fetch you. quest. Working Sell everything we got. There we go, let's get some monies. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna buy one hobo stew because it is good food after all and drink. He has no antibiotic. Nope, no honey here either. Any guns? Yes, there's one gun here for 1,800. So we could buy that on day before oh, day four. But anyway, what do we have here? Oh, the eye candy. Very nice. We're gonna buy that. And then we're going to buy the smoothie, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put the mod in here for... Oh, we have decimal damage now? Huh. So 17.5 damage is the default. Is that because it's not repaired or is that the actual full damage? 17.5 seems to be the damage. And this one adds 1.7. So it's a 10% increase. Okay. Which means the stronger the weapon, the more the increase. Because before it was like one or two points. If that's the case, we're going to have to keep that. And then when we find a bigger hammer, we have to see if the increase is actually still 10% and much higher. He actually has duct tape. We're going to buy one. So before we go home, this is right opposite here. Let's see if we can plunder whatever it is in here. Okay, we have army dudes. Ooh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay, stamina, stamina. Oh my balls, there is a lot of army dudes. Okay, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to do that somehow differently. Woo! They actually get seriously damaged on everything outside, which is awesome. Oh, he's gone. That gave us loads of experience. Because these guys are tough as balls. Nice, he's dead as well. And another one. Nice, we leveled up for that one. Brilliant. Okay, let's see what loot we might find here. Oh, yes, glue. I love it. Give me more and more glue. So this is a very um, high-level POI, I guess. So if there is a loot back in here, it should give us better loot because it's riskier. Or the loot in general in here could be higher. I don't know if it applies to all loot or only the main loot chest. Assuming this uh, POI has a main loot chest. There we go. Nice, some ammunition. It's a wooden chest. Oh, yes! Nice, I love it. You don't need that, but still very nice. 
And there's Egger. Hopefully he trips on a mine. Oh, and that car, this car is destroyed. It can't loot it. Oh, Egger, you little bastard. You know what? We have two points. Let's spend one on intelligence and the other one on medical healing so we can make bandages. Okay, we don't have enough yet to make a forge. We're still missing some iron pipes. So we're gonna have to smack some toilets. Let's go right here and see if we can get some pipes. Also see if we can get any other loot. Nice. Oh, beautiful. An iron sledgehammer. Yeah, that's gonna take our stamina down a notch. So I'm not gonna do this right now. Oh, nice. Oh, more glue. Okay, we are going inside the house now. So we're going to take uh, the loot candy. But let's make an entrance first. Oh, and we already have our friends here. Okay, let's take the loot candy. Let's see if we can get really quickly to the final loot room while the candy is active. I don't know if the loot room is downstairs or upstairs. Let's see if we get some wrench in here. Oh, yes, we got some pipes. That is awesome. And we still have rain animations indoors, including thunder. That is awesome. Let's have a quick look downstairs. Oh, the loot is down here. I remember now. Oh, no, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Okay. Oh. Okay, we broke a couple of bones. There we go, come on. Oh! Oh, I keep missing. Oh, that went right through his nose! He cheated! Mother of testicles, what a cheater! Okay, here we go, here we go. Nice. Oh no, it wasted stamina. He is so annoying, whoever that guy is. Yes! Would you stay down? Oh, my balls, this guy. Okay, let's go here, quick. They can't come in here. I don't think they can. Actually, I do think they can. Oh, crap. They can probably. Okay, quick, quick. Let's do it quick. This is big loot. Big loot. Okay. Very good. Let's quickly loot it. Nice. Let's actually just put um, a block here. So we're a little bit protected. Yeah, this is a big house. Wow, this guy had some health. Shouldn't have played it in a warrior, I guess. What is this for again? Damage mitigation? Water! Um, oh, we don't have any drink. But you know what? Let's use this. It's gonna help protect us for a few minutes anyway. It's a pity we lost our loot candy buff. <gasps> what is this? Oh, my balls. What is this? Do we have ammunition for this? No, we don't. Oh, that would have been so sweet. Okay, that's better. So you can see the gear we actually find in here is much better already than the gear we found somewhere else because it's obviously higher risk. And what do we have here? A brawler moves, deal 10% more damage with fists, leather, iron, and spiked knuckle weapons. Well, we're gonna read it, but we're not going to do any spiked damage. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's see if we can get out through here. This is gonna get tight. Nobody in here, okay. Actually, this is something we can wear. Very nice, no stamina. Impact. Okay, so let's see if we can dig our way out of here. Where are we? Okay, let's go. Oh no, it's rock. Okay, we're gonna have to fight. There we go, another one down. Let's go. All right, that was close. We nearly lost out on the second time as well. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, a little bit of money, that's not bad, but at least we got some good loot. That is definitely worth it. We actually have some ammunition, so now with that gun, we should be able to do some really nice POIs.
Oh, what was that? Look at that. The ratchet schematic. Love it. Random flying dogs in the pine forest. How is that a thing? You know what we can actually try out with that one? Let's get that ammunition for our new gun and see if we can take a pot shot at it. Love it. Pipe rifle, baby. Gotcha. Okay, now we have enough leather for pipe weapons, but we actually have a pipe machine gun. And the best thing is that it actually repairs with iron pipes, which means one iron pipe, boom, repaired. And it's the tier three, which is absolutely fantastic. Does 35.4 damage, can't wait to put mods into it. That was a great find. Us going in there was really, really worth the risk. Let's see if we have everything we need to make a forge. There we go. That is the clay. We have the leather, duct tape, we have the iron pipes, and we are going to have the small stone. The last thing we need is duct tape. There we go. And now we should be able to queue up a forge. Nice. Oh wow, the fog is rolling in now at night. That looks amazing. Look at that, I can't even see my base anymore. I'm light right beside it. What? The hell is that? That is the new spider zombie. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, he's coming in. He's coming in. He's coming in hot. Okay. Nice. Okay, let him in. Okay. Okay. I love the new model, but this guy is creepy and scary. All right, this is gonna be the area where we're gonna start with. It's gonna be a five by five. It's gonna be fully supported. Well, kind of open in the bottom, so we don't have anything trying to hit our walls from below. And this is where we're gonna start putting out our out uh, down our forge right here in the middle. There we go. And now we can put our iron and our clay in here and can start working away very good i have to get more wood well we can put these guys in i think yeah there you go they work as well so we're gonna craft actually the pipe baton to see how strong it is because if it would be worth it to do an intellect build because we have a baton straight away and we can see then if putting points into intellect into execution i think it is if that raises the level of pipe we can build i mean this is 13.8 damage this is 13.8 damage so it's actually the same damage as a wooden club. Slightly less attacks per minute, so it must be slower, I guess. So let's actually see it. If we hit with the wooden club. Okay. And then the baton. Okay, it does more a full swing, and he's actually using it like a baton. Okay, so it's not an electric one. So it might not be the same as the one in inter intellect, but we're gonna have to check that out. We're gonna have to put points in intellect to see if that increases us building this or if this is considered a club. Let's just test this straight away with the intellect. So if we're gonna go into this deployed weapons and this is easier to do more damage. So let's put a point into here and see if that, yes, it increases the pipe baton. There we go, look at that, that is amazing. The only downside is Sexy Saurus is related to strength and Sexy Saurus um, is stamina reduction overall for attacks and power attacks, which means if you wanna get better in that, you will always be forced to go into strength. So I really wish they would have some of these like Sexy Saurus, which applies pretty much to everything, would just have it as a neutral kind of section, like have a neutral section here that doesn't belong to any of us, put Sexy Saurus in there, put Master Chef in there, things like that, you know, but anyway, it's still a long time to go, Alpha 21, I know the memes are out, we're already awaiting it, I hope you guys had a good time with the episode, if you did, remember to click that like button in the balls, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video, and if you're new to the channel, and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time, until then, as always, fresh pass, and happy gaming.